my poor wig. It has ball hat. Mm-hmm. While they all in here lying and acting like they having conversations with me. I'm talking about dykes and everything. I'm trying to keep it all silent. And it, it look like is the agents associated with the last time I was here and made a video. You know, and the music was playing in the background or whatever. Like, um, I got no music playing today. They said they were gonna rerun the whole thing. And suggested none of this other shit happen. So, agents, multiple, multiple, multiple tears. The disinformation, all trying to suggest different things. Talking about they got the 50, the LGBT. The, the more filthy, um, made up, filthy, you know, like with some of the HR drivers that they wasn't supposed to look. It's bad they got nurses and that's just extra to mine. Some extra demonic, okay. They put some extra demonic. I, I guess it wasn't enough demonic. This, I guess it wasn't enough evil in the building. There's always enough evil in the building. The only reason I said extra demonic is because of occupation, okay. Like, all these things are the same overtly. Occupation separate them covertly. They're all the same. You get what I'm saying? All of, us. of the same nature. Now let myself upload. I moved from Subway over here after I put that video on YouTube with my phone because you know my phone works. I don't have no problem with that. Um, so, if I'm recording with my phone, I can upload easily. Look at all this stuff they're doing to my face. This is all like new things in the last few months to support, um, you know, like the fat and aged thing. Um, they were talking about how they cabbage patch all white girls that are fat. And that has become a constant thing. Also, like they were, they stalk me still to this day with heavy, heavy, heavy white females. I'm talking about three, four hundred pound females. Maybe not four hundred. Maybe four hundred. Because some of them are big in stature, like tall, and have a whole lot of weight on them. You know what I'm saying? That's the word of four hundred. I'm like, they got to be only four hundred motherfucking pounds. They haven't been stopping up with Mexican guys today, which is weird. But I think it's because they have a questionable Mexican identity that moved in across the street from me. You know, like he, he could pass for either Indian or Mexican. Bitch, I just put that shit online and it's public last night. Yeah, here y'all are today. Trying to push the same motherfucking lies y'all been pushing for motherfucking six years. By now, y'all motherfuckers supposed to be dropping dead when y'all see me. Every motherfucking body, man, I mean that. <sighs> so now all the internet is all looking at all. I was planning on grabbing.
having a couple of things. Um, I've been getting ready to go to jail. So this is like money for food. Like I'll eat whatever I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, normally I do my thing without budget. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, I kept it no different than what I talked about in the past. That $1,500 that I set aside to make sure I always had a way to get out of this situation. Losing his mind. Like, what the fuck is going on behind him that they're looking at? them demons having no experiences being communicated with. So, um, that $1,500 I set aside to make sure I always had a way of getting out of this situation is about to go into play. And that's why I started withdrawing money because, like, I'll stay, you know, at, um, it won't be any of those questionable hotels, you know, like I said, when I was budgeting, I had to watch what I was spending. That was one thing. But this is another, um, this is my make sure I'm comfortable right before I go to jail. So that means I'll sleep how I want to sleep and I'll eat how I want to eat. And um, I have a rental reservation. I wasn't even going to talk. That's crazy how they just turned into a vlog with all the motherfucking complications I've had when we get information on the internet. I might as well can't use my phone because about four minutes in the motherfucker snap, okay? And they, they will end the recording and I've deleted way too much stuff on my phone to be not having, to be getting storage space errors. They're triggering it. You get what I'm saying? Like they're blocking the storage and triggering these false notifications. To make sure I don't do stuff like this on my phone. Because they're, they're managing right now what gets out. I um rental car reservation for the 15th. I was gonna leave this weekend, y'all. They will not let me put air in my motherfucking air rifle, okay? Like this is my second air compressor. I sent the first one back right away because I thought it was broke. And then I did more research or whatever because the research that I did while I had it, it's it's almost like a video that wasn't there but suddenly became present. Or either I looked to YouTube before um, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Looking on um, on um, Amazon to see if they had a video, but this is all around the same time that my phone situation was sorted out. Either so, that's a no-brainer. That's why I didn't find that video that was on Amazon showing you what to expect from this air compressor. When you turn that thing on, you hear it go to knock and knock and knock, and you would think something's about to explode like if you're not familiar with that kind of stuff or whatever and that's what happened I thought they broke it right away because they were roaring out of it in and talking out of it you know what I'm saying so I sent it back and then they gave me a free replacement and um, told me pretty much not to worry about the other one to just hang on to it but I wasn't keeping it around because I saw what it was doing like to the identity what they were doing with the identities in the area based on me having that air compressor present there was like some things counting on it, like some things um, um, attached to it. Um, <laughs> so the new one comes, I hook it up, I've given it about three tries, okay, and like I'm talking about 40 minutes each run, 40 minutes a day before I left. I gave it 40 minutes a day before I left my house. I think she's locking the door. Hopefully the internet has started working. Hold on, I'm just checking the internet real quick. The school call today. It's um, 7.42 p.m. I'm connected, it's not working, not doing anything. Pages won't even load no more. Um, so, again, another wasted trip. And, like I said before, I didn't even bother going over else because I know what it is. Like, I did that before, like, and 
you know, like they literally shut it down everywhere I go. I'm talking about at a library, they shut it down. I need a library, go to Starbucks, they'll shut it down. I need a Starbucks, go to McDonald's, they'll shut it down. But, you know, certain things, Starbucks might be where they're trying to get me because I didn't have an issue, but I wasn't doing this type of stuff. I was just like putting some stuff with housing in or it's a January time frame. We're talking a long time ago where I went there and I sat there for about an hour and a half doing a couple of things. Um, trying to get e-signatures and stuff in order. Um, sign a couple documents, check a couple forms, you know, stuff like that. Um, now they're trying to come to this door. That's locked. Um, so. Yeah. I just want to leave this weekend on the 31st. I just want to leave this weekend on the 31st. They suddenly became pressed about my mortgage payment. And you know I'm never at stake or at risk of not being able to afford my situation. Like, it is, I got a $600 mortgage, but it's afford. You get, you get what I'm saying? Like, when I factor in everything, I can manage. You get what I'm saying? Like, and um, that's the main thing that they've been claiming. Like they've been claiming that I can't afford my situation. Um, covert, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a, these are all covert lies that are taking place. And when I make a withdrawal, like everything now functions and they start to act weird. The identities start to act weird around me. You get what I'm saying? Like um, same with where I live, you know? And then when I walk into a place like, and I'm talking about they always claim that I have zero dollars to put me at the lowest frequency. That's constant on a daily basis. They always claim I never drive, I never go anywhere. That's constant. That's on a daily basis. So yeah, I was going to leave this weekend. If I got my rifle up to 250 bar, nigga, it was over. I was going to jail. Come Monday, I would have been in jail. Okay? Ain't nothing changed. They continue to get fucking worse. It's a fucking problem. Still calling me the motherfuckers on Upland Avenue. I'm talking about like literally, they're still calling me now. Motherfuckers that's a thousand miles away, they still calling me them and bringing them up to me on a daily motherfucking basis. Lying about who's who. Trying to maintain them. Claiming my activity and my behavior. Watching every motherfucking thing I do and then accrediting somebody else for it. To include my motherfucking shower. I'm talking about they, the motherfuckers been claiming my showers since 2019, y'all, when I moved in at them. I moved in that apartment December 2018. It became apparent to me right away in 2019 that they were claiming my showers. Because they like how I clean myself. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> it is true. Perverts. <laughs> Demons. Perverts. It's where the motherfuckers gonna be embarrassed. They can't even have a normal attraction. And I'm gonna embarrass the fuck out of y'all. And they know it. Right now they're talking about that's why some of them other motherfuckers won't take the fat off me because they ain't able to look at me like they're not attracted to me.
music is that starting here or is that coming from subway? Anyway, I was about to leave. And they're trying to make sure I don't leave. I'm talking about four days from now, y'all. Like I was about to hit the fucking road, get in the rental and hit the road. Schedule all this shit to be unlocked. Visible. Unlock the threads on Facebook. Unlock the um, my Instagram. Right before I start shooting. Yeah, the little Mexican guy just lost his mind. He comes from behind and kind of looks around like, are we closed? Yeah, there we go. Since I'm the only one in here, and although you know the staff normally leaves me alone and let me stay, I'm going to leave anyhow because I ain't trying to have nobody at night, you know. They set me aside from the rest. Had no motherfucking McDonald's. Where I can't even get no motherfucking internet service. 